Hey everyone, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day and I hope that you're enjoying Elden Ring so far. But today's video, I want to show you guys where you can obtain a staff very quickly in the game without actually defeating any enemies. Uh, but there's going to be two locations. One location, you're not going to have to fight anybody the second location you might have to fight a couple people but that staff will be completely free the first staff that we're going to get to that is easily accessible will cost you a little bit of runes i can't remember exactly what the price is off the top of my head because we're going to show it when we get there but if you want to be able to get to the second area without even going through stormville castle i'm going to show you guys how to get around this thing and to get into other areas of the map relatively quickly and like i said you don't even have to fight an entire and en any enemies at all to get to the very first location ultimately we need to get down to this gray site right here so if you guys have already defeated uh, stormville castle or if you guys have already gone around it and have access to this then i will meet you guys there in just a moment but for those of you guys that are sticking around right now i'm assuming that you guys don't uh, have access to it or are brand new to the game just go ahead and skip forward if you guys uh, know about this. But what we're going to do is we're going to go around the castle. Now, like I said, you can ignore all of the enemies and we're going to go on a path. The left goes to Stormville Castle. The right, it's just kind of a secret area. This is the area that we want to be able to go through. Now, I do recommend doing this more during the day. Obviously, hopefully it's more sunny for you guys instead of stormy and rainy. And you don't want to do it at night because there are going to be a few more uh, nighttime creatures that you guys are going to have to deal with. So I highly recommend that you guys do this during the day. You're going to go past Grandma there on the right hand side. And you're going to go ahead and continue all the way down this bridge. Now there is some things that you guys can loot along the way like that guy right there. You're going to come off to the left side. You're going to jump down to this area. Turn a little bit more to the left. And then you're going to have to double jump right here to get onto that ledge. Then you're going to go through all of this uh, area. Now, this is pretty easy to just go ahead and navigate. It's really narrow. There are a couple enemies along the way. They are all wolves, so they are easily avoidable. Uh, there's only one kind of dicey area on this entire path, and it's coming up right here. It's just you have to get around these trees and kind of quickly take the left. But that's the only super narrow spot on the entire area and the really old, the only spot that you should have any type of issues uh, at all when you're coming through this uh, back way. Uh, we already went past the first wolf of uh, a group of wolves and there is the second group and that is it for all of the enemies in that very narrow passageway. Now just in front of us is going to be a gray site so if you guys haven't already obtained this gray site now would be a really good time to go ahead and do that. And that's located right here. And now you, I can welcome you to the second area in the map. Uh, there is a church there on the left hand side. There's some good stuff in there if you want to go ahead and stop and get that. The graveyard there on the right hand if you want to go ahead and explore that just real quickly. There are a couple enemies in there but you can easily get the stuff that is there if you would like and get out of dodge as quickly as possible. You're going to go through this narrow uh, archway right here, this natural arch. And there's going to be a fort down here. Now you guys can just go ahead and run straight through it. Just use your torrent and double jump right through it. It is pretty easy. Um, I don't think any enemies will actually go ahead and actually even swing at you. I think this guy might right there. Because uh, you get pretty close to him. And then that's it. That is everything done in order to get all the way down to this gray site that I had mentioned at the very beginning of the, the video. So this is the one that we're currently at. Like I mentioned, right here, the lakeshore. And you're going to want to go ahead and talk to this merchant right here. This is where you guys can go ahead and acquire the very first um, staff for all of your sorcery spells if you guys are into sorcery. And I've given you guys uh, a way to be able to learn your sorceries and where you guys need to go ahead and uh, obtain that as well. So you can purchase them. Uh, this is the staff that you guys are going to want. You guys will need to have uh, intellect in order to go ahead and uh, be able to use this. So there you go. Intelligence is going to be at 16, strength at 7. So you will need a little bit more of intelligence in order to use this. Now, the second item that we're going to go ahead and look for is going to be um, a staff 
that's not going to be too terribly far away, but it is going to be this glint blade staff. And it's going to be located right on this same highway. So if you continue, um, well, not really continue this way, you're going to have to kind of get onto this ledge over here. And you're going to make your way up to the highway lookout tower. Now, once you guys get all the way up there, there's a few enemies at the bottom and there's going to be a sorcerer at the very top, which is going to be very, very powerful. But at the top, there's going to be a, um, a chest that you can go ahead and loot. And this will give you guys access to that second staff that we were just looking at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, inventory just real quick and show you guys what that staff kind of looks like. And that's going to be this one. The intelligence is actually higher and this one does use um, dexterity as well. But either one should suffice for what you're going to be needing at the very beginning of the game. Either one will work if you guys want to be able to use the glint Played sorcery items then it's going to give a boost to those however it does use a lot more of the intelligence like i was just previously stating but hopefully this video does help you guys out and if it does make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming